Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the smooth freeze frame transition. So first of all you need your clip 1 and your clip 2. Now duplicate the second clip by pressing alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Then press right click on the upper clip and select change clip speed. Select the freeze frame box and press change. Now again duplicate the upper clip by pressing alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Then drag the upper clip one second to the left. After you have done this, go into the edit page. Here you have to try to mask out your subject. So drag and drop a polygon mask into the node field and connect the polygon mask. Then just hit the invert box and start masking. So now the person is masked out and again hit the invert box. And increase the soft edge to at least 0.002. Then just simply try to add a transform node into the node field. Ok, now go to frame 9 of your clip. Then go into the inspector and create a keyframe at the center x and center y values. Again create a keyframe at the size value. After that go to frame 0 and change the position as well as the size value so that you no longer see your person. So as you can see the person gets smoothly bigger. Now go to settings and hit the motion blur box. Increase the quality to at least 5. Then open the spline tab. Then select all of your keyframes and press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out your animation. Now go back into the edit page. The transition looks like this now. So now we just want to play around with the background. So drag and drop the freeze frame background 20 frames to the left. Now disable this video track and go into fusion. Now drag and drop a transform node into the node field. Make sure you are at frame 0 and create some keyframes at the position, the size and the angle of this clip. Now decrease the size to 0.4. Also decrease the angle value to at least minus 20. And then increase the center x value so that the frame is no longer visible. After that go to frame 10. Then change the position to 0.5 and 0.5. Ok then hit this button at the angle slider and increase the size to at least 0.6. Ok, now go to frame 12 and again hit the keyframes. Now go to frame 19 and increase the size to 1. Ok, now go to settings, check the motion blur box, increase the quality, then just try to select all of our keyframes and press alt and s at the same time to smooth out the animation. Then select your transform node and press shift and space by at the same time. Search for trails. Select trails and press add. Now decrease the gain to 0.8 and decrease the alpha gain to 0.82. Now go back to frame 0. Then hit the restart and the pre-roll button. Now go back into the edit page. Then enable this video clip. Go to the transition point. Cut the upper freeze frame clips at this point and delete the right parts. Now it should look like this. But if there are tiny bugs just go with this clip into fusion. Then go to frame 0 and again hit the restart and pre-roll button. Ok now go back into the edit page and drag this clip to the left. Now it should look like this. Ok now we just wanna add a little flash to it. So I go to effects, again to effects and just drag and drop an adjustment clip into the timeline over your two existing clips. And then go with this adjustment clip into fusion. Press shift and space by at the same time and search for glow. Select glow and press add. Decrease the glow to 0 and create a keyframe. Now go to your fifth frame and increase the glow to your liking. So in my case I use 0.8. Then go to frame 10 and decrease the glow to at least 0.2. Ok now open the spline tab, select all of your keyframes and press alt and s at the same time to smooth out your animation. Alright, now go back into the edit page. Now drag the adjustment clip to this position where the background bumps in. Ok, that's it for this video. So I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Thanks to all channel members and viewers. Check the links in the description. Stay creative and bye.